Hey guys, it's Phantoms Excess Center here, back again with another Phantoms Excess Center video. I do apologize, I sound like I am completely out of breath right now. <laughs> Which I am, because I ran up the stairs, because I have, you, guess what? A little bottle of coffee with me. I have my cat, so do apologies if you hear purring in the background. Um, today I bring you Tom Holland, or Peter Parker ex-listener a Christmas morning because you know it's Christmas well not Christmas but it's the making its way to Christmas <laughs> and I am on Christmas break so I am trying to upload as many videos as I can before New Year's Eve and you know 2024 which I hope will be a better year and if this video is short I do apologize because I am very sick at the moment. Um, like, it's not even just my nose. It's my um, throat as well. So this is why this coffee, it's like really hot. This coffee will come in handy because I need to drink more warm things most of the time. Because I do not have cough drops. But, anyways, let's get straight into the video. It was one snowy morning in New York City. You were laying down next to your boyfriend, Peter Parker, well known as the, your very friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and the one and only Spider-Man. You turned over and looked at him. You smiled softly and nudged him lightly and said, Peter, Peter, wake up. He turned over, whining softly, and said, Mmm. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. <sighs> oh, sorry. I apologize. I do have the sniffles a little bit. I, I hope that's okay. Um. Merry Christmas. How about I go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, of course, because I know I have dragon's breath right now. <laughs> and you stay in bed all cozy. And I'll go downstairs to make breakfast, okay? He said before giving you a forehead smooch. After he did his morning routine, he went downstairs to make you guys a cup of coffee, or tea, or whatever preferred beverage, and he started to make your favorite breakfast. The Christmas tree was filled with presents underneath them, most of them from Peter to you, because he loved to spoil you. As you came down the stairs from doing your morning routine. He was already serving breakfast at the table. He was quite the fast pacer. Oh, um, pup, you're just in time. By the way, he does have a certain nickname for you because I found out that Tom Holland actually really likes puppies. So he would probably call you pup or puppy, maybe something like strawberry, cherry like just things that he likes he would call you random things that he likes because he loves you the most and calling you things that he likes um is a sign of him showing you love especially buying you things that's the way he shows his love to you take a sip of this coffee because i feel like i'm about to cough <clears throat> you went down sat down at the table he sat down right next to you he, and he held your hand your fingers intertwined with each other and he had a gentle grip on your hand I know this might sound a little cheesy but I don't really care how cheesy it sounds <laughs> 
um, you know, I love you, okay, a lot, like, a, a lot, a lot, a lot, I, I can't even explain how, how much I do, I just put it out there for you and the whole world to see. Ned, you, you can ask Ned, he, um, he complains all the time, he says, Peter, you do not stop talking about listener, <laughs> which is funny, actually, because I don't stop talking or thinking about you. <laughs> he looked down at his other hand. He was clearly flustered and very embarrassed at just out of nowhere admitting that to you. You chuckled and gave him a soft smooch on his cheek. He let out a small squeak before he said, It's fine, honestly. Uh, I'm not very good with showing or putting how much I love you into words. But let's just enjoy our Christmas morning, MK. You can be all cheesy after we open our presents, okay? Because I know you're already very cheesy when it comes to spoiling me. Hey, it's not my fault I like spoiling you. It's one of my favorite things to do. Even if it's just going to your favorite cafe or just going to the mall for just a stroll with you clearly make it clear to me that we're just going for a stroll I end up buying you about <sighs> let's see five hundred dollars worth of things <laughs> and I'm completely fine with that soon you two went down to the Christmas tree sat down and Tom immediately I mean <clears throat> Take a sip of this coffee, in fact. Peter immediately handed you this gift. It was, eh, let's say it was neatly wrapped. He kind of rushed when it came to wrapping it because he had just wrapped it last night. He was rushing through stores to find just the perfect gift for you to open the very next morning. He said excitedly, Here, um, I want you to open this one first. It took me a while to find it because every single store that I went to didn't have it. So it took me quite a while to find it. And I hope you like it. He rubbed the back of his neck before you began to unwrap the present. It was a, well, a set of jewelry with your and his name on it. It was almost like a proposal, but a boyfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and boyfriend, girlfriend and girlfriend, if you want to make Peter um, trans femme. <laughs> It's all up to you. Proposal, let's say. You let out a soft gasp and hugged him immediately. He wrapped his arms around you, gently pulling you into a warm embrace. You asked him to help you put the necklace on, and of course, he did. Take a sip of this coffee. Well, um, glad you like it. <laughs> it was actually customized. I I did it um November actually and they said it was going to take almost a whole month of December to put our names together and the jewels together. But you know, what's my favorite jewel? You looked at him. Um, slightly puzzled and you said you already told me it was something like 
lapis or something. Eh, wrong. You gasp softly. What? But you said it was your favorite. Actually, my favorite jewel is you. He said as he gently caressed your cheek. <laughs> oh, something's getting cheesy here. I'm kidding. He's just getting romantic. <laughs> Soon, you passed your gift over to Peter. He was very excited. He was actually happy stimming because I have a head canyon that Peter Parker, Tom Holland version, he has a little bit of autism and he happy stims. <laughs> As he slowly unwrapped his gift, it was a very... <clears throat> It was a very nicely and neatly knitted sweater with Spider-Man's face on it. <laughs> he said, oh, I know you would. <sighs> Actually, I'm going to put this on right now. He said as he, spice alert, he said as he took his shirt off and put on his sweater. Okay, okay, I'll stop the cringe. Take a sip of this coffee. You blushed. Try not to look much. Soon, Peter passed another gift to you, saying, Okay, okay, so... This one, I'm very excited for you to open this one. I, I just, ee! <laughs> he released it. <laughs> Lowercase e. As you open it, it was a very soft, kind of like Squishmallow, I guess. Spider-Man plush. It was huge. Like... Um, the size of a, uh, what do you call them? Dog food bag. <laughs> it, it, let's just say it was half the size of you. He said, so, what do you think? When I'm patrolling or on a trip, when Mr. Tony Stark wants me to go with him, You'll have me with you, 24-7. You squished it and hugged it and snuggled it for a couple seconds. And you said, I love it, but not as much as I love you. He chuckled and said, <laughs> I know. Soon, you two unwrapped and squealed and happy stimmed over the gifts you two got each other secretly you got mainly like things you guys like IRL if you like if you like plushies or accessories like comment down below what you would like to get from Tom Holland here and that's what you got for Christmas. <laughs> you got him things like sweaters um, Silly little accessories he could wear, mainly bracelets, because um, Mr. Stark said it was tolerated for him to wear bracelets since he was in a relationship. He immediately put on the bracelets, saying he would never take it off. You two made yourself um, boyfriend and girlfriend or etc. engagement bracelets which you two would probably never take off. Your cat came along with the Spider-Man Christmas sweater Peter had got for him, a.k.a. Fluffball. Oh, look, it's a Fluffball with the <laughs> very silly Spider-Man sweater I got for him. <laughs> you laughed softly and said, he looks adorable, but he does not look like he likes it because his fur is not puffed out. He, he kind of looks like a Shih Tzu that got trimmed. 
how do you feel, Fluffball? Fluffball let out a very angry meow. <laughs> yeah, I can tell he does not like it. <laughs> but again, if I try to take it off, he's probably going to claw me, isn't he? I don't think so. You want me to try? Okay, you try. As you took the little Christmas sweater off Fluffball, he didn't do anything at all. He was calm, but for some reason, he was very difficult and feisty when it came to Tom. He gasped. Oh, oh I see how it is. Mm-hmm. You're picking favorites, aren't you? Take a sip of this coffee. Oh, I don't think he's picking favorites. I think he still needs to get used to you. Listen, it's literally been almost a year. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't think about that. You laughed softly and picked up Fluffball. Well, I'm sorry, little buddy, but I didn't get any gifts for you, didn't I? Tom rolled his eyes and said, All right. Um, let Fluffball go to, let Fluffball, blah, 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 blah. let Fluffball go to his little place. As Fluffball went to his little net place, there were a bunch of cat toys and stuff, so the little guy was not left out on Christmas morning. You and Tom decided to snuggle up on the couch, put on some jazzy Christmas music in the back and when I say Christmas music I don't mean you know music with lyrics it was just you know kind of jazzy um, and a fake flat fireplace because well you lived in an apartment um, you two snuggled in a very cozy blanket having hot chocolate or your morning coffee or your preferred hot beverage you snuggled very closely at him, and he gave you a smooch very close to your lips. He teased you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, love. <sighs> you gave him a sly grin before being the bold one there, and he <laughs> hair. You gave him a small kiss, nothing too spicy, nothing too bold. Oh. <laughs> he looked away. He was still his college boy self. Let's remember that you two were still not very adult-like just yet. You two were still living your teenage dream. 18, living together in a very college like apartment and having your best life. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are close to 8K subscribers already. I am so thankful. I never thought that in 2023 itself... I would reach almost 8k subscribers. I think I've said this since 2021. I have gone from saying I never thought I would reach 1k subscribers to saying I never thought I would reach 8k. That is a long way and and a long way of hard work from um, being depressed and picking myself up every time I was sad. Take a sip of this coffee. And uploading, even if I'm sick. Because, not just because I'm a people pleaser. Because I want to. Like, I want to upload. It's not even for the money, because I'm not making money on YouTube anyways. It's for the comments. To see how you guys feel, because... No matter if it's hate comments, no matter if you're being too honest with me and saying, hey, I can't hear you narrating in the background, could you turn it down? Or saying, 
I don't really like this character or person you're voice acting as. Could you try this character instead? I don't mind. I really like when you guys speak your minds out and your heart out to me because it gives me more inspiration and more ideas to come up with. Now, leave your comments down below for who I should do next for Christmas, I guess. Christmas morning. I could do Hobie Brown. Ho Hobie Brown. There we go. Um, also known as Spider-Punk. Um, I actually haven't heard his voice in a little while, so if I do it wrong, <laughs> please correct me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm. The song that was used in the video is Boys Will Be Bugs by Cave Town, which was actually requested by a sub in my Discord server. My Discord server and other socials and songs that I use in this video will be down in the description, so don't forget to check out the description.